Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I feel like this is really turning into a class, so let me put it this way. Welcome back to another class. So in today's lesson, we'll be going through two basic methods you can highlight your test using Final Cut Pro 10. You ready? Let's go. So we already have our page that will be highlighting the test on our timeline. You go to your generator side and the generator go to solid, solid, you choose custom, you drag on your timeline. Let's make it the same length with the page that we have. So we we'll drag this to this side. Now go to your generator inspector side with the color, let's change it. We can change it to any color we want. I'll go with orange with this tutorial. Then go to your video inspector side. Opacity, we change it to 50%. We just want to see the test behind the custom solids that we have so we can work on it now go to your crop side with the top drag it downwards to the first test that we want to highlight then go to bottom we we'll do the same thing then to the right we we'll go we we'll do the same thing when it ends we can click on the number and go more than that so let's drag it to somewhere here go to left we we'll do the same thing we want it to start with the first letter that we have let's make this big so we can see exactly what we're working on let me work on the bottom a little bit i think now it's okay now go to your opacity we change it back to 100 percent then go to your blend mode you play around multiply or darken with this tutorial the test is black and then the background is white so darken will work perfectly but when you're working with different tests and background color you can play around darken and multiply so let's choose darken so as you can see the test pop out from the custom solids that we have so now what we need to do is animate the custom solids that we have. Click on the custom solids, go to the first frame, click on the custom solids that we have. Under crop, make a keyframe on right, go 20 frames forward. Make another keyframe on right, then go back to the first keyframe that we made. Under right, we'll drag it till it disappears from the screen. Now we'll play it back and see how it looks like. So as you can see, it highlights the test from the left to the right. Now we need to do it for the second set test that we have. With this, you click on the customs, make a duplicate, click Alt and drag upwards. Go to somewhere in the middle, click on the top custom solids that we have. Go to your transform side, click on the box to bring the edges out. I think we can go to somewhere here when it covers the whole test. Yeah, this is good. Then we'll drag the solids to the second set test that we have. So as you can see, the custom solid is shorter than the test that we have. So what we do is go to your second keyframe that you have, still on the second solid that we have. And then with the right, we'll just drag it till it covers the sentence. Now what you do is go to the first frame, go five frames forward. Click on the second custom solids that we have. Drag it to where we have the bar at. So with this, we just want the second sentence to highlight whilst the first is almost ending. So with this, we do the same process for the next two sentences that we have. I will be fast with this. Now let's make this screen fit so we can see exactly how it looks like. So as you can see, very easy to achieve this effect. If you're really learning something and really enjoying so far, don't forget to subscribe and also to hit the like button to see more videos like this. All right, let's go straight to the second method. So with the second method, you go to your generator side and the generator go to solid, solid, you choose custom, drag it on your timeline. Let's make it the same length with the page that we have. Then you go to your generator side and the color, we change it to the color we want. Let's make this red, close this. Go to your video inspector side. Let's make the opacity 50% so we can see exactly what we're working on. Then click on the transform side. Scale, let's make it 50%. Drag it to where you want it to highlight the whole test. So I think with the scale, we can still go down to somewhere 30%. Let's drag it to this side. And this time around, we just click on the edges and make it cover the test that we want to cover. Drag it to somewhere here. Just work around it till it looks the way you want it to look like. Let's make this big so we see exactly what we're working on. Drag it somewhere here. Now with the opacity, let's change it back to 100%. Click on the box to remove the edges out. Go to your effect section side. Click on masks and the mask, we choose shape mask, drag and drop on the custom solids that we have. We play around the parameters over here with the curvature, let's change that to zero. 
further we change it to zero two then go to invert marks click on that so now what you need to do is just stretch this side work around it till it looks the way you want it to look like so now what you need to do is animate the rectangle to go around the sentence that we have. With this, you just click on the custom solid, go to your transition side, and that transition will search for clock. Drag on the custom solids that we have. Let's close this. Let's close the ending part. Now go to where you have the transition at, click on the transition. And with this, we'll just drag it to where we have the rectangle at. Somewhere in the middle here will be okay. Then let's go to edge treatment open that and the border let's change that to zero and if you want to slow down the animation that we just created what you do is click on the transition and just drag it so it will last long or if it will last longer than what you have so somewhere here will be okay now we'll play it back and see how it looks like so there you go guys very simple and easy to achieve this effect you can check on this playlist too i've got more final cut pro 10 tutorials for you guys love you guys peace out